Welcome and welcome back if you've been here before. Um, thank you for tuning in again. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope my readings are starting to resonate with people as I get them uploaded to the channel. Um, I'm finishing out the month of March series for all the signs. I just got through with Scorpio energy. I'm in the water signs now. I got the fire signs and then I'll be done. And I can move into the weekly energies for the month of March 2021, which will be a lot shorter videos than what I've been putting out for the monthly. Let's hope. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start with a three spread reading for you guys. The first spread I'll do the overall energy for the month of March for who did I just say? <laughs> the overall energy for the month of March for Cancer. All right, let's get into it. Okay. Oh, oh, look. And these decks are pre-shuffled in case you're wondering. And you'll probably see me throughout the video shuffling after every use anyway. I just do that. And then between videos, I'll keep shuffling them all again too. So they're shuffled. They're mixed up. Don't worry. The energies that are coming through are for you guys. I'm sorry. I just feel like I need a little bit of sage right now. <clears throat> okay. All right. So you guys got the strength card for your overall energy. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then you got the star card. Then you have nine of pentacles. Cancer, what's going on here? Let's let's figure it out. I feel like that you guys have won some type of victory. You were you have to, you know, keep your wits about you, keep your strength about you. And now you've come into this. And for me, I'm feeling like this is self stardom like you're congratulating yourself you're paying more attention to yourself you're giving yourself more confidence like yeah i'm a badass because i did that so you're i feel like you're becoming a star in your own eyes and i've never felt that for this card before wish fulfillment is what the star card is and maybe that's maybe you're congratulating yourself because you've reached a goal and you've gotten something that you really wanted but i feel like it's not something that the stars aligned for to happen for you. I felt like this is a personal victory because of the strength card is here that you've overcome and you're congratulating yourself and praising on yourself for it. And congratulations. Yeah, my throat was really dry. <clears throat> then you have the nine of pentacles here, nine of pentacles. Um, which is also wish fulfillment, <laughs> like uh, you're abundant, you're stable, all your needs are provided for, you have everything that you want and need right now. That's your overall energy. And I'm not going to clarify that because I feel like that message was very clear. Like I see it very clear. That's your overall energy for the month. Let's go ahead and move into your career and finance. <clears throat> I'm also feeling some energy of new life, like a baby being born or you starting a new hobby or going after a new career path it's like your new baby project or something so let's give me some for career there it said it I could I oh god it's way too many okay <clears throat> I already touched them and did all this extra stuff with them. Let's just take them. Let's just take them and they, they'll be the clarifiers. However they may. Nothing is ever by chance in my eyes. 
there's no coincidence. Everything happens as it's supposed to happen. For whatever reason. And sometimes those reasons are not known for uh, to us or by us. But there is a reason. Okay, so you have the Fool, which I absolutely love this imagery for this deck. This is so beautiful. This is the um, Legacy of the Divine Tarot. That is very, very beautiful. So the Fool is representing in your career and finances that <clears throat> you're starting a new journey. Um, you're taking a chance in something and moving forward in that with like a uncertainty but excited joy and that's clarified by the page of coins which for me the page of coins is representing somebody guarding their heart but you could also be guarding your finances or maybe you're using your finances to shield like who you really are inside like you're using that as a cover hmm And since it's clarifying the fool, I'm just going to go ahead and say that maybe in the past you've been foolish with your heart and your money. And now you're just using your money as a protective shield. Like, here, take the money. Don't take my heart. You can have my money, but you can't have my heart. I've, I've jumped into things too foolishly before. Then you have faith. So maybe you're praying about something, maybe you're worried about something, um, maybe you're asking for higher guidance and higher counsel from someone who you trust, and that's clarified strangely the hell enough by the devil. <laughs> like the God card uh, clarified by the devil. What? <laughs> I can't make this up, man. Like, I really can't. I can't. Like, this would be some great creativity if I could make this up. So what is that telling me is that you've lost faith. And maybe you've gone over to your darker desires or your darker mind to where you're worrying about things and you're stressing yourself out. And you've just become toxic because you've lost faith. I feel, and then you have judgment. Like judgment in all the other decks does not look like this. So this for me in this deck is representing like you feel like you're being judged. Like, or that you have the power to judge other people. So yeah. I feel like you feel like you were gonna be judged because of a choice that you were thinking about making. You were think you had a choice to make, but you didn't want to make the choice, the choice that you deeply wanted to make because you were worried about what other people were gonna think. And let me, what did I clarify with? Oh, I clarified with the same deck. Oh, that's cool. It's fine. Oh yeah, because all of those fell out at the same time. All right, let's get some further <clears throat> clarification here as to what in the world is going on with cancer. You're start you wanting to start something new. But your heart just ain't in it. You've lost faith. You feel judged because you couldn't make the choice that you really wanted to make. One more. Thank you. Okay. So the page of coins clarified the fool. Now what's clarifying the page of coins is judgment again. You, there's a lot of self-judgment here too. So maybe you weren't praising yourself. Maybe you're judging yourself. So why was the star card there? You got your wish? Your wish was fulfilled, but it doesn't 
but you've lost faith. You're fooling yourself that your wish was fulfilled. Yeah, because then the devil was clarified by the tower. Like, that loss of faith broke you. Your toxic ways have broken you down to your bare minimums right now. But I did see that abundance was coming in for you. So that's something to look forward to. You got judgment twice, mind you. And then you have the will of fortune clarifying the, the two of coins. Hmm. I feel like you, you wanted to make a choice, but time went by too fast and you lost the opportunity to choose. And now you might be judging yourself if you made the right decision or not. And if you're ready to start this new beginning. You seem a little scared here to do that. <clears throat> this to me has nothing to do with um, work or finance. Well, it does have something to do with finances, but not career. All right. These cards just feel so similar to me. That's why it's hard for me to get the right ones up. All right, let's move on into your love spread. Where are we? Okay, good. I know that was a weak shuffle, but I'll I'll reshuffle it again before I do Pisces. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that almost happened, but I saved it. <laughs> Every card wanted to come out of this deck. <laughs> All right. Let's use these for your love. <clears throat> and then we'll do the monology to close. Abundance is in reverse, so I'm going to leave it like that. So if you've been asking yourself a question, the answer is no in love. If you've been asking if this person is right for me, and uh, did I make the right decision to move away from someone? Um, is someone cheating on me? Should I cheat on someone? Um, when it comes to a relationship, if you are asking a question, the answer is no. Um, forgiveness is next. <clears throat> I think with all those judgments coming out, I think that it's time for you to forgive yourself and um, whatever choice you felt like you couldn't make or you didn't have enough information to make it or you didn't have enough time to make it and that's what you really wanted to do, you have to forgive yourself. Quit being so hard on yourself. And then you have the abundance in reverse and we're going to see right now why that's in reverse. <clears throat> matter of fact everything else is so clear let's just clarify abundance i mean this reading was pretty pretty clear that's why it didn't go as long as the others i don't feel like i need to clarify i didn't feel like i needed to clarify much for you guys because the messages came clear and concise give me one more for abundance okay i'll take two all right so we have the nine of swords, the nine of wands, the two of wands, and the hangman. 
Okay, so it looks like things are not going well for you in love and having, you know, that fulfilling connection in love. You're really in your head about it. It's stressing you out that it's not happening how you want it to happen. You, I feel like you don't think that you should be going through this and at your stage of life. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like that message is for someone. <clears throat> Um, you should be way more stable in love, I feel like you feel. Um, you think that you're loyal, you've been loyal to people, and now you have to choose this path of, are you going to choose these meaningless relationships or are you going to start loving yourself? You got the wrong idea here. The hangman's clarifying that. I feel like you're looking at a situation, there's no cups here, so you, there, yeah, you're looking at this, you're looking at love like it's a battle to be won, when it's really a blessing to be had and to be appreciated and to be enjoyed, it's not something to win or to conquer, like, yes, I got love, check, no, love is something that is ever flowing you can't just say yep i got it it's kind of like time it comes it goes it has its ups its downs its phases in and out it, uh, that's a great analogy by the way <clears throat> yeah that was my son screaming in the back so I feel like you feel love is a battle to be won or lost. Yeah. But it's really like time. It flows. You know, it's ever changing. It's ever evolving. Um, it's going through phases. It has ebbs and flows like the moon, like time, like a lot of cycle things. That's how love is too. And it, it's not something to just conquer over and you think that you got it and you won. No, it's something that needs to be maintained. It's something that needs to be nurtured. I feel like, I, I want to say it's alive for some reason. I don't know. It's alive. And you're looking at it wrong, which is why you don't have any right now. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for you right now. That was kind of like a Debbie Downer, but I hope that you'll take some of this information and apply it to your life if it resonates with you and find some clarity and understanding from it. Um, it wasn't meant to be negative. It's just what's coming across um, in the cards. Like this, I'm just saying what I see and what I feel from this energy that's presenting itself, and that's what it is. So I hope this resonated with you. I hope you can use this information. <clears throat> and if it... And if this uh, resonated with you, like I said, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, get the word out there if you feel like um, anybody else can use some guidance or information or clarity. Thank you.